Hi everybody, this is Susan, and welcome to a Vintage Design Studio. Today I have something that I'd like to share with you that I've been working on for quite a little while. Um, the story behind this is I really wanted to do some altered jars. I was thinking about doing a fairy in a bottle, but then my problem is, is I have no way to put it right now. I've been stressing trying to get my craft room done, but it just feels like it's not happening anytime soon because there's so many other things that are jumping in front of it. Anyway, uh, with that said, I decided to uh, try this out because my hubby was so cute. He was thinking about me, and um, he had come across some of these really cool jars and picked me up a few, and um, I decided to start working on one and finally got it finished. Um, so here it is. Um, I would say that this is some kind of a um, very feminine uh, vintage style uh, jar. And um, I'm, I'm actually using a tripod right now so that I can show this to you. And I'm trying to situate this way you can see the whole thing. <clears throat> Which, again, my craft room is absolutely terrible. I'm so sorry. I should have waited to make a video when everything was cleared away. <clears throat> so, okay, I'm just going to put the tripod here. Um, and as you can see, um, there's a lot going on here. So um, I'm actually, I'm going to start off with the top. Um, the very top part of the, um, of the jar is like a silver uh, tin kind of color. And I covered that with uh, Tim Holtz Music Note Paper. That's in one of his lines. I don't know which one it is. I'm sorry offhand. And um, after I had done that, on the sides of the jar, which this does work, I can unscrew it. And I'm going to be putting all my pearls in here. Um, I put some Chinese braid. And I'm hoping that you can see that. I've had uh, quite a bit of response back on my new camera. That's why it's going back. <laughs> I'm not very fond of it, so uh, the viewfinder is really small, and it's worse than me without my glasses. So anyway, I have some Chinese braid here, and then right over here I have some... Uh, it's tool with pearl, and it's, it's the strand comes like that, and that's all the way around. And uh, the top of the lid... Here I had taken a piece of um, a piece of lace, which this lace is not trim lace. It's the actual by the yard material. It's kind of wide. It's probably about 12 inches wide, and the piece that I have is about 100 inches long. And I actually have this piece for a really long time. Um, the color here is beige, and this cream-colored. Um, silk twisted rose. Uh, I'll tell you how I made that. Um, folded in half, they sell it by the yard. Um, it's probably about 60 inches long uh, by about, I don't know, 5 or 6 inches wide. And I folded it in half, cut it. Uh, the piece is folded in half, cut all the way down. And I left it folded in half and I made the twisted rose. I also used the Fabri-Tac making that. Uh, this rose, when I made it, it was not made with the intentions of making it tight like I normally do. I made this one very loose uh, in its twist because I, I wanted that kind of, you know, relaxed look in the flower. Below that, um, I had used, um, I believe the color is called Oloroso from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is their seam binding. Um, I just took an old bottle of Glimmer Mist that was empty and filled it up with water and spritzed it till it was really wet and then heat set it. And uh, when you heat set this kind of material, it gets very wrinkled and it will also crinkle up on its own. If you hit it too close, you might set it on fire. Um, and then uh, before I put the rose on, I just put some of my own shooting pearls here, which are, these are a pale pink color. I tried to really stay in the creams and beige and bone uh, family here. Um, and now getting off of the top of the jar and to the neck of the jar, you're going to see this strip of material here, uh, which was uh, tied to a bow. And how I made that is that's from the same material. And the reason why uh, that I made the flower, the rose, the reason why that rose looks like it might be in the pale pink family is because there's so many layers twisted. This is actually the same 
material which is a pale cream and um, the reason why that looks so much lighter is because it is not doubled and what I did was I cut that strip of 60 inches long and I cut it probably about oh I'd say two or three inches wide because I was looking for the look of a droopy tied knot or bow I didn't have anything uh, I do have ribbon but I didn't want anything that was stiff I wanted material that was hanging down droopy and that I could make it look vintage. So what I had done was um, I held the strip uh, of material slowly on all edges, horizontal and vertical, front and back, um, over a flame. And you have to be very careful like that because it really will sit on fire and because you're not holding a small round or square piece of material to singe it, uh, it's just easy if that goes on fire and toss it in the sink. But if this goes on fire, it's a really long piece and you could have trouble. So anyway, um, I singed it all the way around, um, which I definitely got the look that I wanted because I have that wrinkled... Uh, look yet the material is silk and it's so flimsy that it's it's got that hanging look which I love then I tore um, a piece of burlap off which you know these little strips that tear off when you cut it okay I use that to tie on to the key which is from K and Company comes in a bag of like eight keys at different shapes and sizes I just love the way that looks and uh, I, I tied a bow here. Um, this piece here is, uh, is from a strand of pearls, which you can see I'm really low on. If I tell you that this is so old because I had used it as I needed it over time. Um, getting to the, the mid base of the bottle here, of the jar, uh, there is a piece of burlap that's just um, randomly hit with... Uh, uh, some hot glue just to hold it on to the jar. Um, this is really a beautiful um, trim that I had purchased about a week ago. I made a video on some items that I purchased at my local craft store and I just wrapped that around and it's it's very pretty lace because it's got this little bit of a glimmer inside the flower which are um, like uh, off white off clear sequins that have like a shimmer of like pink and very pretty with some oval and round shaped pearls that are already sewn to the trim and I just love the way that looks and I did achieve the look uh, that I was going for here um, this bottle excuse me this jar uh, screws off uh, the top screws off <clears throat> I don't even want to touch it right now because I just love the way that it looks um, I'm going to give you a little a little sneak peek of what I've got to deal with here. That's the top of one of these two um, white cabinets from Michaels. See how horrible that is? I don't even want to show you the rest of it because it's... I've been in the middle of a, a couple of swaps and I had to make some gifts and just uh, moving things because there'll be like supplies like there's my thread and some needles that I would have to use and paint and I'll just I'm, I'm a very sloppy um, artist I have to admit I'm not a sloppy person I'm very clean and neat but when I'm working I make such a mess and for this beautiful jar it's gonna go right um, in that spot and um, I'm just gonna take it and put it there and I'll show you um, see that's where it is so you can get an idea that the size of the jar uh, is uh, probably about oh four inches wide and um, probably about five and a half inches tall so it's really it's really a nice size jar um, I have to thank hubby for this I did last night uh, he was so cute I was like oh thank you thank you thank you and because he had bought me some jars a while back and he just thought of me because I kept saying that I wanted to make some jars that look pretty that I could put my stash in to get rid of all of the plastic boxes and you know things that I keep stuff in and I just rather have storage that looks like this than you know the way I'm having it now so I hope you like it I can't wait to hear your comments um, on this jar um, I'm, I think I'm actually going to make a set of a couple of jars that look like this. 
I don't know if I should stick in the same color family because I was thinking about the next one being <clears throat> in the pink family, but then that means I need to go and buy more trim because right now my favorite color is the creams and ivories and beige, and that's what I have. So, okay, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate all of the comments, and especially thanks to the ladies who remarked about my camera being a little blurry or me being too close. And the reason for the closeness was I had to be um, wearing glasses. <laughs> and I think that I was trying to get close so that I can see it better. But on the other hand, it was too close because it was too close for you to see. So, but okay, um, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Thanks for watching, and I really appreciate your videos. See you guys soon. Bye.